I looked down at my feet and I saw the top of a boulder protruding through the ground. The bison had uncovered it. They had just in their normal activity knocked some of the soil off. And I saw on the top of this boulder there was a groove. And those grooves turned out to be man-made carvings known as petroglyphs. Archaeologist Dr. Ernie Walker has been studying this land for more than 40 years. He's been instrumental in preserving the land and bringing the bison back to the prairies. But this discovery, well, it was a little different. I was trying not to have a heart attack is what was happening. And I said, Craig, look at this. And then I had to come to the building immediately and tell our CEO, Darlene Brander, We've got a petroglyph out there. Over the next week, Walker found four boulders with rock art and the tool used to carve the designs. The discovery of the petroglyphs themselves didn't shock Walker. He says he'd always suspected they could be around. Back in 1982, Walker began his work at the park, combing through the bison jump area, and gave the site a name. Walker believes the name he chose was Destiny. Nawa Siniak. And this is part of the miraculous part of this story. Uh, means In Cree, means four stones. The four stones bison jump sounds like not a bad name. Little did I know, 40 years later, that all of this was going to come crashing down on me in a nice way and in a wondrous way, really. But... Who knew? And before the petroglyphs were discovered, it was here at the bison jump, where Dr. Walker and his team discovered arrowheads, pieces of bison bone, pieces of porcelain. And in preserving this history, well, that needed to be guided by the local elders. We call all the rocks grandfathers, or, or for short, we say toka, which means grandfather, grandparent. So the, the rocks are, are very, very sacred. Elder Sai Standing has been connected with Wanaskewin for almost 30 years. For him, finding the petroglyphs is a clear indication of pre-contact life on the prairies, and one the younger generations need to understand. It's part of our history, and, and our children should know the, the history. You know, the, you're not, you don't have a future if you don't have a history. The bison rib rock and the tool that carved it are currently on display at Wanaskewin. The other three rocks, well, those will go on display at a later date. As for what the bison will discover next, well, that's a mystery. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, Saskatoon.